Hey, what's going on guys? Tony here and you are watching CCXRC. In today's video, you're going to see the Traxxas Haas try to tackle the BMX trails at Ipswich. And I say try because I don't think it did a fantastic job. And I'll tell you why after the video. <laughs> Alright guys, so there you have it. I tried to make it look pretty good in the video, but there were just times when I could not line up any of the jumps. Uh, it is loose dirt there, I'll say that, and the faces of the jumps are pretty narrow. You know, for a bike tire to go up, it's not a big deal. They're like, you know, this thin, you're on it, and you get to line yourself right up for it. Uh, with the um, RCs, it's a little harder because you don't usually have a great shot at it if you also want to see the landing. And it's just something that we've come to get used to trying to drive and whatever. Now, the reason that I don't feel it did super great was I had just spent um, 30 minutes bashing the Big Rock Crew Cab there, and it did awesome. I didn't even try to take the Haas on some of the things because I just could not get the car to go where I wanted it to. And I think it has to do a little bit with that play that I talked about in the steering. Uh, but also there's so much torque that when you really hit it, try and give it that extra boost to hit the jumps, it just literally slides out. Or if you have traction, it actually still just like torque steers or pulls the car. And you can kind of combat that a little bit with steering, but it's so hard when you can't see the car for the little amount of time that you have uh, before it hits the face of the jump. And so I hit the tree a bunch of times. I crashed it, I missed the jumps and came off sideways, and I have like a whole compilation of them at the end. Um, and there were more. There were more crashes I cut out just because I didn't have time with the song. And I wanted to show some of the things that it did do well because it did make some good backflips. It got some major error. Uh, I think three times I hit it right. 
the very first jump was off and into <laughs> the the fields there. Gonna have a little fun. Oh. Or the uh, the brush. Uh, I didn't actually leave that in, um, but that was the first thing was straight off of a hill, big wide one too, and it just veered off and into the the bush. But um, you know, it did all right. I, I do like this car. I like how it handles. I run it in my yard where I have good traction in the grass and it does awesome. Uh, and so this was my first time running it there and it wasn't as easy as say the Big Rock uh, for a first time hit there. I will take it back. I plan to take the Max back as well and uh, give it another go. Um, I turned off TSM because I don't really want to use it for big air. It limits what I can do in the air and it just gets out of control. So. TSM isn't really an option for what I'm trying to do with it on the BMX trails. If I was in just loose dirt and trying to stay lower to the ground, maybe. Uh, but doing backflips and trying to do front flips and that kind of stuff, I really don't want the TSM on because it just gets crazy in the air. Um, so, yeah, it was. I thought it was going to do a whole lot better than it did based on my backyard experience with it. However, everything in the backyard is pretty wide. Uh, and wide open and so I wasn't really having to try and line up narrow faces of jumps so it caught me a little bit off guard I ended up going to some of the smaller sections and just trying to get used to the the loose dirt and um, still just even some of that stuff I really couldn't get it doing much so anyway um, it's not the end all for it it's just uh, I realized that there at Ipswich I was not having the same experience that I had uh, with the Big Rock which is longer uh, wider and uh, just kind of performs differently in the way that they're set up so you're not getting that same kind of heavy torque that you're getting with the big rock or with the uh, the hoss in the big rock and so it just felt like wheel speed wise I could really ramp it up into speed and really line up some of those jumps so they're just different trucks um, and, uh, you know, the one sits lower to the ground, the, the Big Rock is a lower slung kind of truck, more truggy style, and yeah, it just handled a lot better on that loose dirt um, when you have little room to work with and small jumps to line up. So that's just my thoughts on it, just want to let you guys know. Um, I didn't end up running it super long there um, because... I was not having a good go with it, and I was my wife was waiting for me. Wife and kids were in the car waiting for me. They'd gone off and were riding bikes, and they were done. And so I had that last hit. The very last hit of the video was the last hit, and I said, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to call it for now. It's too big an error to not be lining up well and sending it crazy like that into the tree and all of that that had just happened. So I just called it, and um, yeah, we still made a video out of it and let you kind of know where we stand with it. Uh, we'll just keep trying to mess with it. I really need to figure out what's going on with the steering for it um, and maybe try a, a different servo, see if that'll help. That might be the easy first test to see what we can do. Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. As always, hope you found this video helpful, and um, I still uh, definitely think it's a really solid truck and overall really like how it performs the flips that i did land were spectacular um it's just a uh a bigger learning curve i think for me to get used to how it handles out there and um, then we should be good to go anyway links are in the description down below guys if you're interested in one of these uh definitely durable um we'll say that <laughs> we pushed in the body but that was it everything else held up really really well so i was shocked by that with some of the hits that it took but Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. As always, have fun our scene, and we'll catch you in the next video.